East Tampa Transportation Talks is a new community-centric program that supports many principles of the Florida Department of Transportation Compass, resilience, technology, and workforce development, all centered around our communities. As part of the Florida Department of Transportation's Hillsborough Avenue Corridor Study from Nebraska Avenue to 56th Street, the department has identified numerous opportunities for improvement. The proposed improvements presented are derived from previous community feedback received and study data. Hillsborough Avenue from Nebraska Avenue to 56th Street provides access to jobs, businesses, churches, and schools. It's also essential for commuting and freight delivery along the corridor. Safety issues are a critical consideration with over 2,800 crashes occurring between 2018 and 2023. Pedestrian and bicycle crash locations were clustered near 13th, 15th, 34th, and 40th Street. Outreach for the study has included three public workshops. Suggestions from the community include requests for enhanced aesthetics and safety improvements. These suggestions have guided recommendations for both the short-term and long-term, shown on the icon map. This presentation will discuss these in more detail. One opportunity to improve aesthetics is to add textured pavement at the signalized intersections, creating a pattern with color in the crosswalk. Local examples of this treatment include a brick pattern along Kennedy Boulevard. A recommended safety improvement is to convert the existing two-way left turn lane to a directional median, a concrete median that still allows drivers to turn onto the side streets and major driveways. A review of the crash data showed the angle and left turn conflicts typically occurred in the sections where there's an existing two-way left turn lane. By adding directional medians with turn lanes, these types of crashes could be reduced. Within some of these medians, landscape could be added with an agreement from the local agency for maintenance. An alternative option to landscape would be to add hardscape improvements in the medians. Shown here is an example from Biscayne Boulevard in Miami, where a pattern is applied through pavers. Any enhancement options to the medians require coordination and maintenance agreements with the local agency. There is also a demand for more pedestrian crossings along the corridor. An option is to add five new crossings at 13th, 17th, 20th, 32nd, and 36th Street. There are locations along the corridor where the curb radius can be reduced. This change reduces the speed of vehicles turning onto the side streets and decreases the crossing distance for pedestrians. Within the City of Tampa's Moves Mobility Plan, 11th and 12th Street, are designated as shared streets, which are priority streets for bicyclists. These streets are currently offset, requiring bicyclists to travel a short distance along Hillsborough Avenue. To bring attention to the existing crossing, green bicycle crossing markings are proposed at the side streets and driveways. These green bicycle crossing markings are also proposed for bicyclists crossing Hillsborough Avenue. Hardened center lines are recommended at intersections to reduce the speed of vehicles turning left and prevent vehicles from cutting the corner. This treatment reduces the speed of vehicles, emphasizes the separation between travel directions, and reduces conflicts between people using the crosswalk and vehicles turning. Artwork can be added into the sidewalk as the city has recently created an East Tampa sidewalk stamp. The latest FDOT standards for driveway construction would maintain an elevated path for pedestrians. The study has also included specific recommendations at the two major intersections of 40th Street and 56th Street. Redesigning these intersections will allow for safety enhancements while incorporating bicycle and pedestrian improvements. At 40th Street, the department is proposing to reduce the turning radius at all four corners. This reduces the speed of vehicles making turns and also reduces the crossing distance for pedestrians and bicyclists. At 56th Street, two options are presented. The first is the creation of a protected intersection, which allows bicyclists to have a dedicated path, creates a space where they can wait to turn, and gives them a shorter distance to cross. The second option is to redesign the right turns and the merge area so vehicles reduce speed when turning while the truck apron, shown in red, will still accommodate larger vehicles.
Thank you for your participation in the East Tampa Transportation Talks. If you'd like to provide a comment, please visit the project website or email the project manager directly as noted. Please find a safety message for this upcoming holiday season, reminding all drivers of the danger of buzz driving.